Hasbro, the legendary force in wrestling figure entertainment. We're coming to you live from the Dasbro Studios. Thanks for checking out the video. I'm Big D. And I'm Little West. We are Daz from Dasbro. Where's the third member? Where is he? Where's the bro? Don't know. Okay, so we're done an unboxing video. So Little West doesn't know what these are, so we're getting his first time reaction. No clue what it is. So here's the box. I have seen the box. Yeah. I've seen what's in it. What's the SD? Okay, are you ready? And you can rank them at the end as well. Thank you. I like doing that. First up. Is this our new Ultimates? Yep. Ultimate Edition. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. If you could put that jacket on without hesitation, that's a good figure. And he's got his own belt, so Cody on it. Okay, so what do you think of that figure? Uh, yeah, it's good. But it's funny because he's got um, little holes on his chest, that little brown mark. Yeah, and he's got a tattoo that's his dream as well. Yeah, I've got the big jacket. Yeah. And the belt, Cody Rhodes. I would like, I would have liked a championship belt with him. Yeah. Oh, Mark Miro. Mark Miro, also Johnny B. Bad in WCW. So this is a grappler and gimmicks Hasbro style figure. Let's see what you think of that. Yeah, it is good. I uh, to burn this. Just look at that hair. I feel like the face is a bit too wide with his eyes open like that. Yeah. He is a good figure. I got the hands and stuff, you know. The thing, he won't get a better rating than Cody Rhodes, only because Cody Rhodes had accessories, so that kind of lets it down. Yeah, I like the Hasbro style figures, though. Okay. Item number three. This is another Grapplers and Gimmicks. Oh, I love those two figures. They look great. So that's the Crew Beckers, and he's also called the Amazing. Amazing French Canadians in WCW. So one of them's a Mountie. Today's the Mountie. But he's not called that. He's called Jacques Rougeau, which was his name. Jacques Rougeau when he was in the Rougeau. And um, the other one's called Pierre Quenet. Do that. Yeah. So three times WWF Tag Team Champions. Come with sunglasses that come on and off. Yeah, I thought that was good. How good is that? Out of the two, you know, I think maybe that one looks better. That's Jack. Jack, I actually think, looks better than his Mountie figure. You ready? Yep. It's going to be something we like. Painful Boy Smith, also known as the British Bulldog. Probably one of the best um, British wrestlers there was. Yep. Big rubber duck guys. LJN style. Uh, yeah, that's alright. You like that one, do you? Yeah, it's hard. Side. Do you want to take a closer look? Yeah. We'll wait for it. Yeah, it looks like him. Um, it looked like they, they've whisked me at the time. Did he wear the clothes? Yeah, they wore those uh, when he was the tag team. He wore them on his own. Because they're the dog. Yeah, I was waiting for you to notice that. Uh, oh the Tilda. Uh, uh, well, okay. That's just blown your mind, hasn't it? It has. I've never seen the British Bulldog come with the Tilda. Right. They've whisked me. Last one. Seriously. Dynamite Kid. His tag team partner. Yeah. Can I just take a closer look at Dynamite Kid again? Yeah. This time. So, I have had a look at these. I prefer Davey um, Boy Smith. And I did manage to get them to stand up. What, what one do you prefer? I prefer Dynamite Kid. What? And the reason I prefer the Dynamite Kid is I think it looks more like him than the Davey Boy Smith. Yeah, come on, you got the Tinder. Yeah, um, I know. No way you watch fish figures come with a tilde. It's just a problem. With LJ Inch? In the, yeah, you can't, it's hard to stand them up. Well, at least the dog's not falling over. No, yeah, she's actually got four legs, though. Yeah, he yeah, have to get them. That is the problem. Oh, I don't know. Here you go, take, it up, take a closer look at the British Bulldog. Yeah, I wonder if you hold the dog with that one. I think the dog was interested. Wait, I'm going to rank the dog separately. But the dog comes with the British Bulldog. I know, but they're different. Yeah, they, yeah I think they're all right. Good paintwork. Because these were delayed because there was a problem. I can't remember which was the... They're very uh, muscly. Was Dynamite Kid muscly? Yeah, it's quite muscly. They're very muscly. 
What do you think of these figures? Let us know in the comments. The other figures you can get in the range. Oh, there's that uh, uh, access left. Okay, so are you doing them together? Because mm. we're in the same packaging. Mm. These were the bulldogs weren't in the same packaging, yeah. so you can do. I'm, not, I'm gonna rate them not together. Okay, now the thing is, we're gonna rate these in our other unboxing video that you can check out in the archives. That was quite easy. Some of them were poor during the Bret Hart didn't, oh, yeah. didn't look good, and we had the the probably do get egg, yeah. Yeah, the egg was right. I think this is actually a strong lineup. Yeah, Bret Hart looks great, and it didn't come with a lot of accessories. Dad, can I rate Matilda separately? If you really want to. Yeah. One, two. Are you rating these separately? Yeah. There's seven here then. So, who is in seventh place? Right, it's just going to be me, and then you do what you would do, yeah? Yep. Right, seventh place. It's between Mark Miero. Mark Miero. And Paul Matilda, which are quite small. But I like it because it's an accessory. But the thing about Mark Miero <laughs> is because he's an actual sugar. Woof. Okay, seventh place. So eleven creatures. I'm going. It's the dog. Yeah, I'm. I feel guilty now. Six is Mark Miro. Mark Miro. It's a good figure. You can actually get them in different colour trunks as well. There's a couple of variants of him. Sixth place. Mark Miro. Okay. So please, you finally get into the top five. Dying right kid. Dying right kid is fifth. Yeah, you're not going to be happy with this. Okay. Pierre, oh, yeah, yeah, outlet. Yeah, him by itself. Uh, I like the Mountie, so I'm going to go with Bong Dog. So next is Pierre, then Davy Boy. Who's next? Uh, oh, so last two, so that's between the Mountie and, then... and Cody. Would you rate? You got to, you got to give second to um the Mountie because Cody's got all those accessories. Oh, the addition. And it's considered the top, top line. What would you do? What would you rate then? Seventh to first? Well, right. oh, for to first. Okay. T time to pick big D. I like the LJNs. The dog is an accessory. I, I do like the dog. I wouldn't normally rate the dog on its own, but if you're making me rate it, dog's going to last because it's, it's an accessory. Sixth. I'm going to go with David Boy Smith. Oh! Oh wow, I'm surprised. I like I like the LJN figures. They don't stand They're up. Solid. It's not that. I just think the face is a bit off. I don't. The David boy. Mm. Um, six. I'll go with Mark Miro. Uh, yeah. Okay. Quebec is. I'm going to put them next. Yeah. What one do you like better? The Mountie. Yeah. So, our uh, Pierre's next. Then the Mountie is third. Second. Dynamite Kid. Yeah, you've got to give it to it's Cody. It's Dynamite Kid. And I'm going, I'm going first with Cody. He's got so many more accessories. He's like the world's best wrestler right now. He is very popular at the moment. Won a lot of Royal really Rumbles, ain't he? The American Dean, baby. So, yeah, I'd go with Cody first as well. And you're stealing Dusty Rhodes' line. The dream, baby. So that is the order we've ranked him in. A little bit different between the two of us. How would you rank these figures? Let us know what you think in the comments below and how you'd rank them. And also, I just want to say, if you rate the dog first, then you're out of your mind. Well, I wouldn't have rated the dog on its own anyway, because it's an accessory. Okay, if um, if Before. Dave Westbiff went with the dog, but I've got him. would he overtake anyone? No, not for me. He's good. It's just, I just think his looks a bit off. Those little two at the back came last. Okay, thanks for checking out the video. Speak to you soon. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you enjoyed the video, why don't you close on that thumbs up button? If you want to stay up to date with new content, then hit a leg drop on that subscribe button and stay Dazro for life.